Hello everybody, this is Shepherd 91 again. I tried to record some of the uh, DLC uh, Dead Money where I go to Sierra Madre, but um, it was a completely blind thing and I thought that would uh, make it more interesting, but um, it turned out to be a lot of dialogue that is important. JP? Since I uh, here with didn't know what was going on, Professor Paco, I guess you're... You know, I, you... Uh, How do I not talk to you? Wait here, buddy. Me. Oh. Does it work now? Ah, oh, okay. Professor Paco, come on. Let's go, Paco. Alright, so... I'm in Camp McCarran right now. I'm going to be doing a quest... Boy, uh, where I right now. Uh, interrogate... Oh, yeah, where I interrogate a Centurion for Caesar of the Legion. And, uh, come on, Paco. We're gonna be doing that. Hey, you're in charge. You stick out like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? Uh, Glove Factory? Do you need any help? Yeah. So far, this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. But with the work you've done for NCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. We captured an honest-to-God centurion of Caesar's Legion recently. Half worse? Better believe it. Everybody. Okay. Everybody in Caesar's Legion from Caesar on down will kill themselves before they can be captured. They're so twitchy they'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them. But here's this guy, who's an elite commander in their army and he just gives himself up, even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. What do you think that means? Well, I don't know about you, but to me that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. Except he hasn't. Or... Only times he speaks up are to insult you. He's a real prick, by the way. Hmm. And I'm supposed to get information out of this guy. To me, it sounds more like it's a trap. Like he's... He was sent to misinform you guys. <laughs> Why don't you just be a prisoner selfless? Have you tried calling him hurtful names? Um... Yeah. Yes. And one time, I thought I saw a tear when I told him his uniform was unflattering. But I think he just got some dust in his eye. Uh, tell him the other legionaries think that he's a profligate or something. What's what's something the Romans hated? Tell him he's a Christian. What about you? Yeah. Don't have anything like that. Sounds nice. Like the kind of thing I'd want to take home and use on my husband. Oh. But even if we did, I don't know that I'd be comfortable using it. If there's any risk of overdose, it's not worth it. Asshole's too valuable. They are. They are very valuable. Can't live without one. Why don't you just be a prisoner senseless? I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? No. Problem is that the NCR frowns on using that sort of tactic. Oh. There are some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. But here's my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. Plus, for all this guy knows, you're completely insane. That's a winning combination. That's your favorite thing about me? So you want me to do what you can't? Why isn't the armor... I think if you rough him up enough, and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Then I leave the room, and you make him regret the day he was born. We go back and forth a couple times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way, we've had our entertainment for the day. I object to use the violence against prisoners of war. That's true. I I actually do. Ah, oh, tear my heart out, why don't you? Well, well, well maybe you can a find extreme. a way to play with his mind. I get will. him out of his comfort zone. Oh, yeah. That's People lose their heads and say things they regret. Especially if they underestimate you. This dickhead would underestimate a nuclear missile. Plenty of ways to skin a cat, as they say. Ew. Hey, what if we skinned him? Why would you But he wouldn't be so cat? smug then. Cats are cute. Um... Okay, let's get started. That's the spirit. Okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then I'll call you in. I still haven't asked you what your name was, but I guess it doesn't matter. Long time no see, Silus. Lieutenant. I was just thinking about you. you. That's so. I was. I was just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. How sweet. I was thinking about how it would look with a Legion slave collar on it. I'll pass. 
Do you know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. Except I love how tight they fit. I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. Make them wide. It's all the rage in fashion circles? Yeah. Not quite. If you fit it just right, their body never gets used to the feeling of wearing it. It cuts in just enough when they swallow or turn their head to remind them who they belong to. And it's that constant reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, maybe you'd better save the collar you were gonna give me. Oh? For whom? For a friend of mine you're about to meet. My friend isn't very docile. And who is this friend of yours? You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners oh, of war? Of course. My friend doesn't. Oh, and Seelus? If you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out. Come on in. He's all yours. Okay. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. Okay. And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. Oh. You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. Okay, so... Professor Paco, we're gonna be using psychological warfare, okay? So... I mean, you're you're a rad roach named Professor Paco, so you're already... Let's close the door, please. You're already good, so... Uh... I'm already pretty intimidating, but I think I can do one better. Let's see. Um, uh, uh, that looks... Sure, okay, I'm doing it. Hey, buddy! This is my friend Professor Paco. Say hi, Professor Paco. You're not, you're not saying hi. You're showing me a bit of your upskirt there. I'm not really appreciating it. Why is this not a two-way mirror? I mean, a one-way mirror? It's just a window. Uh, anyway, hi. What an ugly little worm you are. Hey. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm? Oh, well... Uh, I think you're confused, I'm with you. <laughs> oh, that's... Uh, I'm here to kill you before you talk. You're nothing. You're some inept mercenary the NCR is paying to supplement its own incompetent soldiers. How naive, Silas. Corrupt go up to me, Pesmia. Caesar sees you as a threat now. You can see racing this. We both salute to Caesar's law and you're in violation. To me, I would deny us dona ferentis. I pose as a mercenary to get inside these ones. Ooh. Yeah. No, listen. Kaisar's secrets are safe with me. I stayed alive because Kaisar would have wanted it. I'm useless to him dead. You're a danger to him alive. Your knowledge threatens him. Okay. I've told them nothing. They've gotten nowhere. I'm a Kenturian for Christ's sake. I deserve his trust. Caesar's laws are absolute. He does not grant exceptions. You have to let this go. I'll disappear. No one will ever see me again. That was always the plan in the first place. So in addition to treason, you're also a deserter. No, that's not what I meant. I... Lieutenant, this woman is trying to kill me. She's not who you think she is. All that shouting! Honestly, Seelus, you get free room and board. The least you could do is be a good guest. Lieutenant, this woman is an agent of the Legion on a mission to kill me. My, we have an active imagination today, don't we? Think about it. Is it worth the risk? You need what I know. Well, it sounds like the two of you are becoming fast friends. It'll be your head if I die, Lieutenant. You'll be disgraced. You know what? I think you're right, Seelus. Of course I'm right. Wait, why do I, I still, still have grenades? I don't care, oh. because it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it to never have to hear you say another word, Seelus. Yeah, Seelus. Carry on. Lieutenant. <laughs> I like that lady. Oh, Professor Paco, just keep doing what you're doing. For keeping up the good fight. You don't have to do this. 
You shouldn't have done that. I'm the only friend you have right now. Do you honestly believe you could escape that? But I do just have something cute life full of Caesar's friends. I'm the only friend you have right now. You've made your intentions clear. The Legion has abandoned me. I've done everything Kaisar ever asked of me, and this is how I am repaid. With assassination, I ambushed countless NCR patrols and wiped them out so that our operatives could move freely. I waited for him to dispatch us for three days, never questioning why the headaches he complained of would hinder his ability to command. I haven't breathed a word about the officer we planted here. He continues to radio intelligence to Kaisar's camp nearly every night. I've proven my loyalty. All you're doing is killing a loyal soldier. If that's Kaisar's policy, then I say his empire will crumble. Breakers are so gullible. Ooh. What? What do you mean? <laughs> You've been tricked, Silas. I'm a jerk. No, you slimy bastard. Nothing I've said will change the outcome for you. No force can hold back the tide of the Legion. This camp and everyone in it will burn. And I'll be the one burning it, because I'm not with the NCR either. Is any... No one heard that, right? Professor Paco? Don't tell anybody. I don't think my other companions even know about it. Get away from me. Did I even introduce you to Professor Paco? Okay, he's a rad roach. And he has a degree in child psychology. He also minored in theoretical particle physics. physics. Look, look at him. His antenna. Yeah, yeah, see? See, Professor Paco, he's impressed with you. Okay, don't... Just get your hand away from there. Okay. No? Okay. Okay, come on, Professor Paco, I don't like this. I don't like the way this guy's looking at you. He's rubbing himself in a bad way. You got something to say, or do you always look like that? Uh, yeah, I was born like it. You did well. I don't know how you did it without putting a scratch on him, and I'm a little disappointed personally, but it saved the NCR some face. And it could save us more than that when all is said and done. I'm gonna talk to some people when we're through here. This is about double the standard fee we'd give a consultant, but from what I saw, you're more of an artist. So think of this as your commission. <laughs> who are you? Not big on reading name tags, huh? That's okay. My name is long and difficult to pronounce. Ready for it? Okay. It's Boyd. Ooh. Lieutenant Boyd to my friends. How do you pronounce that? Colonel Shu has me handling the policing duties for the base. I've told him he could make my job a whole lot easier if he would just let me shoot anyone who talks back to me. But you know how colonels can be. Always a stickler. Bye-bye. Yep. See you around. You got something to say, or do you always look like that? I was born this way, and... Or... Professor Paco, come on, give him some credit. Besides, his crippling social anxiety and also his self-consciousness is pretty bad. You hear that though? I'm an artist. You hear, did you hear that? Back in our hands. I'm an artist. Get away from me. So, do I seriously? Oh, I guess I have all my weapons still. No. Why do I have my? Why do I have the these? Can I, and can I put, yeah, okay, I can put them away. I, I feel like I should. Okay, I can't undo it now. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Guys, I messed up. I, ha I have a grenade. Oh no. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Nope, wrong one. Right. Here. No? Sorry. Professor Paco, help. 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 Yeah, help. fuck you. No. Guys, save me. They can't get into this room, can I? Ooh, Professor Paco. Professor Paco, you did good, buddy. Centurion armor. Take it. Alright. So. He... Okay, so he was being interrogated, but it's 
this doesn't have central air in the room, so he took off his clothes so he can calm down, and uh, he slipped on the sweat and hit his head. And then Professor Paco, you nibbled on him a bit, because that would explain the bites. Because you nibble on a lot of stuff, Professor Paco. I mean, uh, I'm not calling you fat or anything, you know you have a problem with I think it's good to know. Um, so does no one care that I killed this guy? Like, at all? I mean, I didn't kill him. Professor Paco did. I just kind of... Uh, threw a grenade in the room that he was in. Uh, so his illusion still doesn't... You know, ow, it, ow! 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 Ow, my finger. Ow. Constantly. So I guess no one cares. I'll take it. Professor Paco, we're heroes. Sorry, I don't want to, like, throw you guys under the bus, but, um... Why don't you just stay in there for... Um, take the fall from me. Thanks for doing me a solid, guys. I'll always remember you. Yeah, Farber's doing the best with what he's got, but man, I could go for a nice cut of ramen steak. I think I have some. It's just, uh, let's see. Hmm. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. I know you want it. You know you want it. Okay, so. Uh. I guess I could stop recording now. That quest took much less time than I thought it would to complete. But, uh. I don't know, I had fun. Professor Paco had fun. Uh, the Silas guy in there. Hello. Oops. Um, you could tell he had the most fun of any of us. And uh, these guys... Hi. Hi. They ran into a wall, or a door, trying to get in there. But, uh... Um, I was able to use uh, Psychological Warfare. As you can see, I'm very intimidating. I really like this dress, though. It's very pretty. It's from the uh, Sierra Madre thing. Dead Money. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, didn't, I never uh, finished talking about Dead Money. So basically, um, it's pretty uh, deep, the uh, DLC was, so... Recording it on the first time playing without knowing anything prior, uh, it really didn't make too much of a good thing to record oh. because, uh, you know, I was focused on what was actually going on because, uh, I don't know, you get into kind of like a 26 skidoo, I don't know if that's what it's called, but um, basically you can't do anything because everything else will not work. Like. I can't focus too much because the uh, commentary would be terrible, and I can't focus too much on commentary because the gameplay itself would be terrible because I wouldn't have any idea what I'm doing. It's so I uh, I had recorded it about an hour, but I uh, I just kind of not an hour, right? It was like 40 minutes, but uh, most of it was just dialogue with uh, the characters in it and uh, me trying not to die. It, it wasn't very entertaining to watch, so I just deleted it. I hope you guys don't mind, but... I mean, I don't have a very high standard on what I put on my channel, but if I know something isn't good, I won't put it up. Like, I try to appeal to all tastes, all weird uh, senses of humor, because my sense of humor is pretty... Yeah, I can tell when something's just bad, so... Yeah, I saved you guys the trouble. And... Now I can't stop throwing stuff off the, uh, shelves. This is what I was, uh, cutting out of, uh, the last New Vegas thing I did with, the uh, Ultralux. Because you notice there is a gap. That cup just disappeared. I'm scared now. Oh, there it is. So basically this is the stuff that I normally cut out of the videos because every time I see a shelf I have to clean it. I don't know why, it's just a kind of shelf. Deviled eggs? No. And cigarettes, cigarettes, cigarettes. Uh, cup. 
and you again. Pencil, 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 pencil. Alright. Oh. Nope. And nope. And nope. Alright. There we are. So, that was me uh, interrogating a person and then accidentally blowing him up and well, Professor Paco bit him a bit. But, I think it was fun. I liked it. It wasn't as funny as, like I didn't have enough as many opportunities to say funny things as I was hoping. But, nevertheless, I think it was a success. So, I'll see you uh, in the next video I put up. Uh, it might be this game some more. It might not be, I really don't know. Like, this one was just like a, like, oh, I have a quest to do, and, hey, did you point it at me? Is there a problem? Damn shame about Morales. She enlisted to be closer to her husband. Oh, okay. I don't know who Morales is. <sighs> okay. So, I, once again, forgot what I was talking about, but, um, oh, uh, Right, like this was, this uh, video is just kind of like, oh, I have a quest, and it might be fun to watch. So that's why I recorded it. It wasn't like pre-planned or anything, so I might be doing that again. In fact, I think, yeah, the last one I did with Ultralux was also just like heat of the moment impulse, where I didn't have an idea of recording that day. It just kind of happened. Which, oh, I can also do Gamora. <gasps> That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the, the Gamora quest next. So, I'll see you guys in Gamora. Where are you going, Professor Paco? Where are you going? Where are you going? Hmm? Professor Paco, where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? I love you, Professor Paco. Bye.